So transport is hugely important in delivering inclusivity in our cities. It's really important that places that are key to how people live their lives are accessible by transport. So making sure that people have equal access to health, equal access to educational opportunities and equal access to jobs is really important for the livability and the competitiveness of cities. Success looks like a community that uh, has everything at walking distance. Um, it's a neighbourhood where there's a, a thriving spirit of community, where uh, people like to go for a walk because it's so beautiful and because it's social, social and safe. It's the human-centric design approach and it starts from putting the most vulnerable users at the core. Arab are perfectly suited for the preparation of sustainable urban mobility plans, uh, SOMS for short. Uh, these are plans that require an inclusive approach, not just in terms of the types of um, knowledge and skills that we need to bring in, but also an inclusive approach in bringing in all the stakeholders, namely local authorities. Stakeholder engagement is a very important part of these projects. Um, we work closely with the general public, local businesses and local groups to ensure that the solutions that we're bringing to these areas take account of the challenges that they face. So these plans touch upon every category of measures from hard infrastructure proposals, such as safe cycling infrastructure, pedestrian crossings, public rail enhancements, permeability improvements, and rationalization of car parking. And they also include things like service provision and alteration, such as new or amended bus routes, micro mobility services, and amendments to car parking hours or costs. Um, along with that, they also include some more soft behavioural change measures, such as school programmes, travel challenges and awareness campaigns. We try to um, derive from our initial analysis, what are the opportunities uh, facing a town, a city, a region, what are the constraints, and the plan is to address those. In order to do so, we need to work inclusively with stakeholders, but we also need to bring in all the different strands, all the dis different disciplines in order to achieve a, a meaningful plan. Generally, these projects would feed into local policy documents which are developed by the local authority. Uh, these are responsive to the aspirations of policy at a more regional level, at a national level, and actually at an international level. So we work with partners like C40 and the Carbon Neutral Cities Alliance, the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, and the World Green Building Council to promote sustainable transport options across cities in Europe and cities at a global scale. We work with our clients every step of the way, from optioneering through planning, detail design, tender, construction administration and eventually project handover. A notable project that I was involved in over the last couple of years was the Grand Canal to Lucan Village Greenway. Throughout the entire planning and design stage, we work closely with South Dublin County Councils to engage with local stakeholders and residents to bring a scheme that met local needs. At Aro, we have a massive a commitment to research on design focus for people. For example, we produce um, interesting documents like traveling in a woman's shoes or a playful city design or an incredible strong uh, lighting approach in terms of place making lighting. It's all about encouraging people to walk and to be part of the city center. And in general, what I say in a word is we need to create that formal experience is the fear of missing out. The most important thing that a transport planner can do is to design a pedestrian crossing in the right place. It is really important to think about the basics.